Toastmasters provides us with valuable tools so that we can become proficient speakers, beginning with tips on how to organize our first speech. As a small business owner, social networking is very important for me. It's vital. It's extremely important to me. <laughs> it's vital. I caught it. And the one thing I enjoy most is talking with people, one-on-one -on -one or in small groups. It wasn't until writing this speech, however, that I realized how similar social networking is to giving a speech. Your beginning is compared to an introduction. Your content is the continuation of the conversation. And your conclusion is bidding adieu, saying farewell. There is the ebb and flow of words, of emotions, of expressions, all flowing seamlessly as if to music. After all, it is all a dance. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and welcome guests, let's get our dancing shoes on and examine the similarities between public speaking and social networking. Before attending a social networking event, it's very important, vitally important, <laughs> I'm going to get caught on that all day, I should have checked my speech. It is vitally important to have, have a purpose. Know what your purpose is. Maybe even think about who the crowd is going to be. But imagine this. You go to the event, maybe not knowing anyone. You're a little bit nervous. Your heart's pounding. Yet you want the evening to be a success. So you scan the room. You find someone that you maybe don't know. Then, determine yourself that you're going for it. So you approach the person, extend your hand, and say, Hi, I don't believe we've met before. And there you have your introduction. With writing a speech, it's a similar thing. You have to determine your purpose. What are you writing about? What are you hoping to achieve? Once you do that, then you need to approach that podium with confidence and with a tickler sort of introduction. Draw your audience in to what you have to say, your introduction. It is all a dance, swaying, moving, as if to your favorite tune. Music has a way of drawing you in, helping you to tap your feet and move to the beat. And whether you are dancing slowly, swaying back and forth, dancing with your sweetheart, maybe you're twisting to the 60s, or even line dancing <laughs> with a bunch of friends. Dancing has a way of having that movement just take you in. It's a beautiful thing when done well. Sometimes it's very soft. And then with the cadence, in, the cadence speeding up and the volume going up, you'll have whoops and stomps. The same with speaking. The more interest you put into your public speaking, the more volume the cadence changes. You can take your audience from knowing that you are passionate about something by speaking loudly and quickly to then injecting a softer overtone to draw them in, to listen even more carefully. And that's the beginning, the beginning of the dance. You know, a conversation the comments, maybe comic anecdotes, back and forth sway well with the conversation. In public speaking, your audience plays a vital role if you allow them to. Visualize your expressions when you're having a conversation. Something funny said? You smile or laugh. 
Oh, a crude remark made, however, could raise an eyebrow or a scowl. The content of your speech might evoke that from your audience as well. But when you learn to encompass that into your speech, your audience will not be able to do anything but be drawn in because it adds interest. And so, the dance continues. When it's time to say farewell, ending the night on a good note ensures that it will be a lasting memory and hopefully an opportunity to meet again. With ending your speech, it is that final handshake as well. It is that last hurrah before running off the stage. <laughs> it is that final bow at the end of the dance, leaving all with that feeling of well-being and even a smile after the lights go out. As you can see, whether you're public speaking or having a conversation with one, <coughs> social networking and public speaking have a lot in common. And when you add the interesting elements to your speech, it will sway well to the music. After all, it is all a dance. <laughs> Marcel, will you?